Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. And today I'm gonna show you how I bleached this kinky curly hair by Ashley Marie Collection. And I'll put all her information below, but I was able to bleach this hair and didn't lose a curl. I'm also gonna show you how I got this beautiful tone. I took some of you guys advice and I went to Sally's, but you gotta watch and see what happened. Okay, so this is the Kinky Curly Unit. I'm going to use some Big Nine by Guy Tang because it's supposed to be very, very gentle, but it will lift it, you know, really, really well. So per the manufacturer's instructions, I am mixing the developer with the bleach being uh, one part and the developer one and one half. Okay, so I'm gonna start my lightening process in the back. I'm not using a brush or anything. I'm just gonna use my hands and I'm going to work the product in. I'm doing a very bottom back first and then I'm gonna go to the top and then I'm do the middle last just to give it some contrast. So nothing like spectacular. Then I'll go in with some highlights, some just some freehand highlights. Okay, so I'm gonna towel dry it and then I'll freehand some highlights just in the top.
Okay, so I'm gonna rinse it well. It's to a, a, a decent blonde. I really wasn't trying to get it too, too light. Uh, I'm gonna rinse it and then I'm going to shampoo it. I'm gonna use some purple shampoo. That'll pull just a little bit of the brassiness out. It's not gonna pull all of it out, but it will pull some. I'm not gonna use it as a toner. I'm not gonna let it sit. I'm just gonna shampoo it because I'm gonna use a toner. Okay, so this is the before. It's very, very brassy. And my trusty Shays EQ. Yes, ma'am. I'm using 9V, 9P, 9VRO. Yes. Okay, so I did two ounces of the 9V, a half an ounce of the 9VRO, and a half an ounce of the P, 9P. 
and then I did equal amounts of color to processing solution. Mixed it, I applied it, you can already see it turning. That's why I use Shades EQ because it's fast and I am so impatient. It does exactly what I needed to do. It's cooling it down, cool it down, cool it down. Okay, so once it's cooled down, then you're gonna rinse it out. You're not gonna shampoo it, guys. You're only going to condition it. A demi-permanent does not require you to shampoo it right afterwards, so you only need to apply your conditioner. Okay guys, so I went in and I first started this video trying to keep an open mind because I know everybody uses Wella. Uh, the T35, T27, T18. Uh, I like like a beigey blonde, like cool and things like that. So I did, diff I tried it different ways. I mixed it different ways, combined them different ways and I didn't like it. Like I, like years ago, like I just don't like it. I don't know, I'm gonna give it another chance. I stopped recording it and went and got my Shades EQ. I don't know if I'm just stuck on my thing, like what I like to do, but it didn't do a whole lot to me. But you know, I'm not gonna waste, I'm, I'm gonna get some hair like something, you know, that I can play with and then I'll just do another video. But I just wanna let y'all know I did try it. I dry all of my curly units upside down. You wanna know how I went from brass to Tone, look at those tones, baby, yes. I love it, I love this hair. I love that I have, still have all my curls, my kinky curls, I love it, I love it. You guys gotta try it. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure you subscribe, like, and turn those post notifications on.